Hello everyone, I'm here to go over the judges interview rubric to earn your judges interview, or not your judges, your uh, judges award. Um, I did do a similar video like this um, with the um, engineering notebook to help with excellence and uh, the notebook award. Um, and I said in that video that I would do another video for the judges interview when it comes closer to time for first competitions. So that's what I'm here to do today. Um, so this is the official VEX rubric that all the judges will use when you will be interviewed. Um, so I have it here for us to go over. So uh, you can plan out your judges interview really well and get that judges award or whatever award you want that this judges interview covers. Um, we could... Uh, so engineering because okay one thing though before every competition um if you have the time you really need to plan out what you're going to say because um you're probably only allowed a specific amount of time um it'd be really nice to plan out what you're gonna say and go over this rubric while um, if you don't have time, that, that's fine, um, although you should definitely do it for state, so you can get, um, you should definitely do that for state. Um, so, for all awards, you need to talk about your engineering design process. This is probably one of the most important parts of your, of the judges interview. <laughs> Um, and it's just saying teams show evidence of an independent purity from the beginning stages So make sure you talk about beginning to end like um, for example my team at the beginning of the year built a two block intake robot And then we switch over to the yes bot design um, That is really important to say the design process includes brainstorming any like robot ideas part ideas like, my team was thinking of doing a basketball, and we're thinking, should we do a basketball? Should we do an S bot? And um, we came to the conclusion that we want to do an S bot because faster scoring and can hold a pretty decent amount of blocks. You have to include all the testing, what happened, um, did it succeed, did it fail, and how did you learn from that? And explore alternate solutions, uh, just saying, like, what could you do to your design process that could fix a problem that you're needing and you could do um, alternate solutions that have already happened um, so that is four to five points um, if you move down to two to three teams show evidence of some independent security uh, for some elements so basically, to get all the four to five points, you need to have uh, independent query from the beginning stages, brainstorming, testing, and exploring alternate solutions. Um, you need to have all those four things to grab you in this box here. Um, and then next is the game strat games game strategy. Um, so this can qualify for design, innovate, create, and the Amaze Award. So some pretty nice awards there. Um, teams can fully explain their entire game strategy, including game analysis. Now, um, many teams do talk about their game strategy. They, they, pr I, well, I, many teams do is explain their current strategy. Um, and that grabs you two to three points, but you need to explain your entire game strategy. Um, and which means all the scenarios, which can be really difficult. Um, but if you like, if you plan it out beforehand, it, sh it should be fine. Um, and then what a lot of teams are missing is their game analysis. How do you look at the games? Do you look at the games analysis? And that is most of the time why teams will lose points in this category because they're not explaining their game analysis and this could be just like watching your games back and seeing 
what you did wrong as a team and how you can fix that. And that's a great thing to say. Uh, you can either do it from your own team or other teams like, oh, I've watched this competition. This went well, so um, we're going to include that in our game strategy. That's also a nice thing to say. Um, and over to robot design. This can give you the design, the innovate, the build, create, and the amaze award. Another, um, another great set of awards, but teams can fully explain the evolution of the robot design to the current design. So this kind of goes back to um, this part here, but just more in depth. Because you'll see in like these rubrics, like some of the things are linked, like they're pretty similar, but not like extremely the same um this is basically this part right here that just in detail in more detail um and you can pair this box with this box in your inner in your interview too and i'll be fine um the teams can fully explain the evolution of the robot to the current design like well, like what i was saying before um what did you first come up with did this design work? Did you want that? All that stuff. Um, and you can lose points here if you provide a limited description of why the current robot design was chosen. It shows limited evolution. You need to show the judges that you picked your design for a reason and you modified that a lot and you had reason behind that. Um, and then over to the robot build, this can give you the innovate, the build, the create, and the amaze award. Um, so teams can fully explain the robot construction. Ownership of the robot build is evident. So basically this is um, like you, your team built your robot yourself and no sister team helped you. That is basically what this is saying. And here just explain like how your robot is built. Um, it's pretty... It's pretty self-explanatory, but to get all the points you need to fully explain it. Now, a bunch, it's really hard to get all the top boxes for all of them in a 7-10 minute interview because that's just a lot to say in like 7 or 10 minutes. Um, but if you plan it out, you'll realize that... Um, you can get a lot more done than just a uh, free go in it. Um, but still pretty hard. Um, so make sure of that too, because full experience construction, how everything's built. And you can lose points by saying, describing why the current boat robot design was chosen, but with limited explanation. So basically, this one is just all about detail over the construction. Um, and over to the robot programming, this will earn you to design, the innovate, the think, and the amaze award. And it shows you that teams can fully explain the evolution of their programming. So basically, um, this is just the time for the programmer to talk about um, like how the programming is and why your programmer chose to do this specific route in, like say autonomous, in like the game autonomous, or like the skills autonomous, or like why they chose different buttons for stuff um that is definitely something and you can lose points from this by having teams describe how the current programs work but with limited evolution this is where this is where a lot of teams stand in their robot programming section because most teams explain how their programs work really well but they don't give the evolution like you, you need to be going like i chose this route in my um, autonomous, my game autonomous, but this didn't work, so I chose to do this instead, and it worked pretty well. Something like that. Um, and then for the creativity or originality, and it's going to give you your innovative and create award. And it says that teams describe creative aspects of the robot with clarity and detail. Now, this can be a few different things. It could be the design like robot design in general, like um, the color, the metal, a um, bunch of different things. Cause like my robot, we've colored our metal a really cool red and black, like graffiti alternate style. Um, 
and this would put us really good in this category but it's just not that it's also the creative aspect of the actual building of the robot like how are you getting creative with um let's say if you're doing an s bot what makes your s bot stand out from the rest what's different about your your s bot that's creative and it works pretty well um that's what you're gonna do there and to lose some points you're just gonna say since they can describe it's a creative solution but the answer lacks detail so you need detail a bunch in this one and then here the team project and management now this will give you all of the awards and it says the team's gonna explain how team progress was tracked against an overall project timeline the team can explain management of material and personal personnel resources so basically um how is the organization of your team that's basically just a shortened version of it um like let's say for an example if your team had like team meetings on tuesdays and thursdays um and the builder would build the programmer would program and the uh, driver would do like one skills before everything started or something like that like just basically like how is everything managed um and a lot of teams are actually grabbing this right here uh, teams cannot explain how team progress was monitored or how resources are managed because they don't think that they need to put that in their judges interview but it is a pretty important thing to put and if you're not doing that um you can get a lot more points on there next is the teamwork communication and professionalism and this can grant you all words stating that most or all team members contribute to explanations of the design process game strategy and other work done by the team so basically that's um you can't have one person talk about everything and the other people just like tell their names uh what they do in like 10 seconds about like why their stuff is important and have one person talk the entire time um that can that is a problem for some teams but um you need to kind of spread out everything by your team members and this can be done really easily by just planning out what you're going to say beforehand um so you can make sure everyone gets a pretty good um chance to speak um so that you can hit this box um next is the respect courtesy and positivity and this will grant you all awards stating that teams consistently interact respectfully courtesy and positively in their interview that's just basically like respecting other teams if you're talking about other teams or just being just being polite and friendly um so this one's pretty straightforward it should be an easy five points um and then this last one here is for special attributes for overall impressions this can grab you the judges or the inspire award um and this is a box where the judges will actually write something themselves instead of giving you an actual score and it says does the team have any special attributes accomplishments or exemplary effort in overcoming strat or cat challenges at this event did anything stand out about the team in the interview please describe um so basically in a really short way this is basically saying what does this team do that is different than the other teams and is really impressive um and that's basically how all of the um judges awards are handed out um it's just basically what wow the judges like what was impressive about yours that not many teams are like not all the teams are doing um and this can grant you not just the judges award but the inspire award as well and yeah, that will do it for the judges interview. Um, I hope you enjoyed. Please plan out your judges and um, consider subscribing to the channel for more in-depth content like this. And I'll see you guys in the next video.